The thing is, it's kind of like Fallout 3. Well, you're going to make a good point, Wade, because I'm enjoying this discussion. Yeah. There's a flow happening. <laughs> oh, fuck the pair of you. No, 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 no. It's just, no, it's just, it's just, just, just less editing for sure. Oh, don't worry about that. This is why we deliberately we sit in different chairs just to wind up Sean and his editing. If anything, no, it makes me laugh because I'm just like, <laughs> one second there'll be a cut of one and there'll be a cut of something else and be like, I wonder if anyone noticed that. But it's funny you saying about um, <laughs> the, the changeover from the first Fuck it out, Sean. Do you make a good point, wait. That doesn't matter. He'll just no, edit himself out of fun. All right, you know what? Not my group. Carry on, carry on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm taking charge. Bastard. I mean, we could spend an entire it's video like naming all the Skyrim releases. Well, yeah, well, I've got that. Platforms. I had it on Xbox 360. <laughs> I had it on, I've got it on that. I've got it on PC and on PS4. <laughs> you know, when I think back to, I used to play that on the PlayStation. <laughs> because, I mean, on the it's on PlayStation oh. because I actually, because I, I went. It's on the Switch as well. Yeah, it's on the Switch. Oh. When I when I went to uh, when I first got my PC. And I started playing Fallout 3 and New Vegas and Skyrim and everything. Mm -hmm. The first thing you think is, I've got the loading times, they're almost non existent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you start piling mods in there, and, you know, it's like oh, HD oh, textures, oh, yeah. you know, like get all these different enhancements it's and whatever. A bit like a radio, and, then you go, and then you go back and play the original. You're thinking, I can't believe I played the game like this. Oh yeah. Like New Vegas was so poorly optimised for the PlayStation 3 that apparently once you clocked in about 60 hours the game would just stop working. Yeah, it was just glitchy as fuck. It's like you were on, it was like some like long ass Majora's mask. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, you've got 60 yeah, hours, yeah, if you don't it, do it, it, I don't fucking work again. <laughs> <laughs> but the game would literally just stop working. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. But that game, what? Because that wasn't a Bethesda game. That was Obsidian. Oh, it was Obsidian. Obsidian. Like, yeah, they outsourced right. it to Obsidian, yeah. and now everyone's saying like it's the best game, Fallout game of the franchise. The thing is, that Obsidian, oh, yeah, Obsidian, Obsidian like, made the first one, the, as in they, they made, made, they made the first two Fallouts. Oh, the first two. The first two Fallouts were made by Obsidian, and then um, Bethesda made three. Well, when you play in Vegas, you can yeah. see the um, the similarity. And obviously, yeah. gameplay is totally different. Yeah. yeah. But in terms of tone and things, that being said, I may be in the minority, but actually. Fallout 3 to me is the best uh, really, uh, yeah. Fallout game. Yeah, so. um, I, I do lo I, I like love New Vegas. Yeah. Is. yeah. Three is so I good. think it's because no, there's, 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 there's no, there's no redeeming feature to anyone you meet. Yeah. Like in, in the, anyone you meet in the wild, they're all mad. There's sure one more. Yeah, 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 more. Cheers, thank you. There's, there's nothing nice about anybody in Fallout 3. No, and why would they? You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Going back and playing Kotor on the Switch. Um, I mean, I played it on the PC and then I played it back on Xbox when it first came out. It took me years to realise it was actually made by fucking BioWare. Bio, yeah? mm. What's and that? Knights um, like, uh, of the Old Republic. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you got the, um, the old choice system yeah, and the, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Harry, you're needing to buy back the camera, I can't see you. Do I have to be like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Well, well right. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I think yeah, I think Knights yeah, I think yes. Knights of the Old Republic. Um, the it's one of those well, things. Just yeah, one yeah, of the things on PlayStation Four. Because mm. when 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 I played Mass Effect, and I know Mass Effect three ending and all that, but it did eventually feel, after me going on about it to you guys for so long because I was an Xbox person like, at the time, and I was like, play this game, yeah, yeah, yeah all right, and then they came out and like. Fuck it, oh, this is great! <laughs> I did wonder what happened Seriously. to the team that made Kotor, and then I was like, yeah. oh, they went on and made Mass Effect. And Dragon Age. And it's one of those ones, as soon as I clocked on and then started playing Mass Effect after playing Kotor, I was I'll, like, I'll, 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 never forget, I'll never forget, because Sean, Sean had an Xbox 360. Because I was a cheap boss. And me and Harry had a PS3, <laughs> and Mass Effect 1 wasn't released on Xbox No, it was an one. Xbox exclusive. Two, not yeah, Xbox yeah. One, uh, 360, yeah. excuse me. And, uh, but Mass Effect 2 was going to be a multi-platform release. And Sean would, to the point yeah, where I would say to myself, I wish you'd stop banging on it about playing this game called Mass Effect 2. And it's like, oh no, it's Mass no, it's great, blah, 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 and described about it. And for some reason, it was just in one ear and out. Yeah. I, I, I have no any, idea why. It's kind of like any kind of like sci fi franchise that you've been inspired by is an is amalgamation of this that, game. Yeah. And I was like, right, just. Yeah, but then like, Harry yeah. bought the second one. Yeah. And then I was over at your, your house. And then 
you said, oh no, let me show you. No, it's actually really good. Like, Sean, Sean wasn't talking shit. It's actually really, really good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what? And then I was looking at it, and then for some reason, like the character creation, I was thinking, meh, it's all right. <laughs> I don't know, it just didn't click with me. But then I bought it anyway, and it literally just sat there on my shelf for like months. <laughs> And then I think I was off sick from work. Like I, th I think I had the flu. I was really, really sick. And then I said, you know, I'm just going to try Mass Effect Two and give it a go. And I just couldn't put it down because yeah. <laughs> the version I had had like the comic book strip, yeah. so you could like make the choices from the first Mass Effect. Yeah. Or you could just start fresh. Yeah. And, uh, and then about two years later, they made one. Yeah. And then one, one came yeah, out. Yeah, it was, it was, like, it was like a digital download only. Yeah. But uh, yeah, Mass Effect Two to me, it, to, for me, it's one of my favourite games of all time. Oh, well, I, it's I'm probably in my top ten actually. Yeah, I had a really good time Mass Effect Two, but the problem is Sean spoiled it for me before I played, before I even played it the first time. Oh really? He's <laughs> like, yeah, he, he told me how to complete the suicide mission with no one dying. I'm like, oh okay, so do everything before I go and pick up the IS. Oh yeah, but I thought you asked how to do that. I no, had to. Oh right, okay. Tell me. Oh right, fair enough. Well, well I, I was trying to make your life. I was trying to make your life easier. <laughs> Bastard. <laughs> I have to no, play What's the disastrous ending? Yeah, exactly. Because well, no, then you'll be like, hang on a minute, this game's shit what? because everyone dies. No, you want to play it and see who does die and who doesn't die. I know there's like a formula for how it all works out. There is. Yeah, I mean, I can't decide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to I mean, see how your choices are. I, I managed to yeah. everyone who, who picked, that I picked to take charge died. Yeah, or, don't do any lo played, or you just don't do any of the loyalty missions and then everyone dies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even Shepard can die. Because I played it twice. And the only one that wasn't loyal to me in the end, actually there were two that weren't loyal, uh, Zaid wasn't loyal to me. Oh yeah, but he's only a DLC. Because I didn't, have, I didn't have enough Paragon or Renegade points. Yeah. To deal with his. Yeah. yeah. And Jack ended, the female, you know, the yeah. Shader, yeah. Shader Skinner, Shader. she ended up hating me because I sided with Miranda at oh, the end of the mission. Oh, with the argument. I found yeah. Miranda, I mean, although, I, I, I did, yeah, yeah, I think I sided with Miranda, so, but, it's got something to do with which squad members you leave behind and which ones yeah. you take with you. Mm. So Jack, so Zaid, even though he wasn't loyal, still survived the suicide mission. Because he wasn't on yeah. the mission. Yeah, but yeah. Jack ended up dying. Yeah. And then I replayed it again and I made everybody loyal, except for Jack again. But then there is, like, but then yeah. you look up online, oh no, if you take Garrison... Because you can use it, either Jack or Samara to do the, uh, the force field. If, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, you leave, if you leave it, characters yeah. like uh, Garrus, Rex, Zaid, Thane, people like that behind, yeah. Legion, people like that behind, then um, uh, whoever isn't loyal will more than likely end up surviving the yeah. final mission. So I think on when I took out the Human Reaper, I think I had like Tally and maybe Miranda with me. Yeah. Whereas like the tanks were left behind. Yeah. yeah. Because you know when you get the final boss and then you know the rest are like trying to you know yeah, hold, hold, hold you know hold, hold the line. Hold the line. Hold the line. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but no, I, I love I love I mean. It's kind of bringing this channel full circle because I, I, the first I, I, video we ever did was talking about Mass Effect, and now it's like, yeah. yeah. Well, I actually played replay through the trilogy again recently, almost uh, side by side with you. Legendary actually. edition, yeah. Uh, yeah, the legendary edition, and um, I started looking into mods, mm. and uh, so you can see it on the Nexus forum. You can download like a, like a good ending mod for it, basically. Oh yeah. And what it does, it tweaks the game, so basically the Shepherd survive, lives or dies in the end. Yeah. And you get like the best ending where it basically cuts off before the Star Child shows up at the Same end. Of the shows up. So none of that exists or anything like that. So basically, the game ends where the, uh, you know Anderson dies. Yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Anderson <laughs> dies. All of eight years but, ago. But yeah. Shepard triggers the um, the Crucible to. We love you, uh, Keith David. Yeah, <laughs> destroy them. Yeah, to, to destroy the Reapers and the yeah. Reapers only. Which but I think is always you, the canon in yeah, the Star Trek. But if you have low war assets, the you don't end up doing that. Shepard yeah. dies, and basically the whole galaxy's fucked, basically. Mm. Yeah. And you get the ending with Liara in like this bunker somewhere, saying, "Oh, we tried to stop them." But oh, yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, d I did that yeah. recently. I mean, I'll tell, I was telling you about yeah. it. I just did the complete fuck you, like Shepard, just for a laugh, to the point where at the end you get like the well, you went full renegade, yeah, Shepherd, proper renegade yeah. towards the end, and I was just like. No, fuck you, I'm going to do it anyway. Everyone's <laughs> fucked, and then a thousand years later, and they are like, yeah, we, we, we messed up bad. We yeah, no, Bioware, Bioware, all the DLC they released was like full on damage control. Yeah. Oh, so, yeah. like, like they, they re released, they basically tweaked the ending, almost overhauled the ending. Well, it was the same ending, but 
they they've padded it. They you know they expanded on it. And, and that was the three DLC thing. In as then well, they did Leviathan. Yeah. And then they did Citadel, which was basically nothing to do with the Reapers, but it was like a great big party. It was a piss up at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. It was basically yeah. a great big mash up with all your because they I think they, they they obviously knew they messed up badly. They took this risk yeah. for whatever reason, and they thought it was a good idea. And I don't know anybody who legit liked the original ending of Mass no. Effect 3. No. I always shot it. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah always yeah, shot yeah. the thing. Yeah. yeah. How did you end up doing the Citadel then? Because there's people, there's like things online saying, oh, actually, it's meant to be played after the, like the main canon ending. But I actually, when I replayed it recently, I played it before. I the played main it ending before because, you go to the illusion yeah, end. Maybe. Yeah. Because I think that's the general consensus purpose. of where you yeah. should. Yeah. I think a lot of people, because the ending leaves such a bitter taste in people's yeah. mouths. They like to do the Citadel DLC afterwards, yeah. but I always that's I always do it just before yeah. the final mission, exactly. before the point of no. Because return. then if you do it afterwards, it's like oh, but we know where this is going. Yeah, 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 now yeah. it's like oh, right, there's a sort no, of no, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. But people yeah. have their own head cannon and things. Yeah, like that. I just love Brunt's interactions on that. On the well, well, he gets absolutely too. pissed out of his head. He yeah, yeah, he does. He's shower. Shower. Yeah. 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 Oh, no, no. And you can actually talk to him. There's like about 20 times yeah. and he says different shit whereas normally like when you speak to anyone else you have like about three different interactions and then they yeah. start recycling the same conversation yeah. whereas he just keeps going and going and going. Yeah. You may agree as well. To me another problem I had with Mass Effect 3 replaying it again was the characters you can pick from in the end. Oh crap. Like oh, why, no, no, why, no, no, why no, do you have like, why do you have like, French Jr. Yeah, why do you, oh. what's his name again? Um, James. James. James yeah. Vega. James Vega. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he's so what, crap. Why don't you have Rex friends. there? Because to me, it was like the perfect opportunity to get the original crew back together. Exactly. What's left of it? Because Caden or Ashley might not be there. Yeah. And then bring some, you know, bring you. So Edie, I totally understand being there. Yeah. But why would you not have someone like Miranda brought back? Because with the link to Cerberus and yeah. everything like that. And why would you have James Vega there when I think it's because Rex could possibly die in yeah. Mass Effect One. And they had to like introduce a new character, so you had enough to pick from. Again, basically, you, you, you get you can get what you could do is you can have Rex there. If Rex is dead, you have Grunt, and if Grunt's dead, is, if both Rex and Grunt are dead, then you, you have James. Then you have James. Yeah, yeah, probably. Exactly. You could do that. But then they probably paid a lot of money to get Freddie Prince Jr. <laughs> to come and yeah, 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 yeah. uh, probably not that much. Complete not Freddie Prince Jr. Come on, true. Yeah. True. no, fair. It's a bit like. Um... Oh, come. That's a good edit. <laughs> That's a good edit for me to go for a piss. You get you get Caden or Ashley. You get Garrus. Fair enough. Garrus and Tally. Nice, yeah. Yes, Garrus and Tally are the only two companions that appear in every yeah, uh, Mass Effect game. Liara, yep. of course. Edie, yeah, something yeah. new. But then it's it's like the James. Oh, oh, oh and of course, what's his yeah, name? Yeah. The Prothean. Yeah, yeah. Like that makes sense. Prothean, the, the Prothean. Oh, God, he's a miserable sod, isn't he? <laughs> yes. I'm so annoyed because he's like. It's like he was clearly cut out of the game so they could make DLC. It's, yeah, he yeah. should not have been cut out of the game at all. He should have been in, in the original version. Of I game. completely forgot about that. No. I completely forgot he was DLC. Yeah. Well, this From is, the Ashes. Mm, I didn't know what it's called. Oh my god, that, that's really annoyed me now. I know it's years ago now. <laughs> uh, that's years ago now, but when, no, because when I replayed it, I was thinking, because no. Javik is just so integral to. It makes too much he's sense. He's like such a. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's kind of like... God, you're right. That was like DLC. Yeah. yeah. It's like, I, they did it... Because my first playthrough, Javik was nowhere to be seen. Are we going to be, to be touching upon Andromeda? See, the disappointing thing with Javik is that I reckon he, he should have been in it from See, and day and one. So I was on. Andromeda upsets me because it's a really good idea, but rather than doing anything good and, mm. or good and original... It's so repetitive, though. It's like, oh, yeah, it's terrible. Oh, it's terrible. If, if, if you're looking for more gameplay, the gameplay of Andromeda is actually really good. Yes. The actual combat stuff is actually really Yeah, it's still like, I, I've never played it. So. If, if you like the combat in 3, you'll like the combat in Andromeda. So if you're going for an actual, <laughs> I want to play the game to play the game, yeah. you'll be fine. 3 um, does play a lot, when you go from 2 to 3, like 3 yeah. does control a lot better. Yeah. But it's like, the whole... The it's biggest, just a lack of adventure in 3. Yeah, Act 1 of Mass Effect 3 should have been going to all these new alien places, like seeing like the uh, Solarian homeworld, Going to the uh, sorry home, sorry homeworld to try and get uh, allies. Act two should have been you've got your team, you're trying to work out how to stop the Reapers. Act three is Reapers have now turned up, they're here. You can what, tell. You what can, have you done to prepare for this? Yeah, yeah. it's like all your choices up to this point should now be affecting and kicking in. And it's like you could you could have that that opening you have from 
beginning of the game of running around on Earth as like your this is now the beginning of the The catalyst. The opening act of Mass Effect Three is amazing. Oh yeah, right. it's, but, uh, it's the so. The disappointing part of the three, apart from the ending, is that it really railroads you. I, I, I won't lie to you. I pretty much enjoyed all of Mass Effect Three up until like pretty much when you get to Earth. Well, exactly, because it's yeah. just so dull. Yeah, like, no, when you get like, to that like, there's no big final boss or anything like that. The final boss in Mass Effect 3 is literally like an enemy rush. Marauder Shields. Yeah, yeah, Marauder yeah, yeah. Shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marauder Shields. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shields. Whereas at the end of it. Mass Effect 1, you had like, you know, there was the there was the final confrontation with, with uh, Saren, Saren. 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 Yeah. and then Sovereign takes control of him in the end. Saren, Saren was so strong. Saren yeah, was so good. Super in control. And then in Mass Effect, uh, two, you had the Human Reaper. Yeah. And Harbinger. And yeah. From the background, yeah. anyway. But the thing and, is, they uh, built, they Mass built Effect Harbinger there too was, much. You, this, I suppose the closest you get to a final boss in Mass Effect 3 is like Kai Lang. Oh, the, oh, oh I was going to say, the, yeah. the, the big fucking treasure, treasure ball. Oh, that was a, um, that was amazing. Oh, that, that, that took out that the, Reaper. To, to Chunker, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. That was actually, the Reaper, <laughs> that whole storyline with like the, um, the Genophage. Mm was fucking great and I think yeah, they when it comes to the big really moments well. they really like the curing of the genophage or yeah. the sabotaging of the cure the well, yeah, yeah, exactly. and taking back Rannoch and everything like to yeah. me my favourite scene is actually if you play your cards right and whatnot is when you see the um, the Quarians and what, the, uh, yeah. uh, the Geth Italian, Italian Legion yeah, you know, making yeah. peace I mean I felt such satisfaction at the end of that and you know Tally's talking about oh I'm gonna I, you know, build my house. And Lee Chief refers to himself as I, and it's like, yeah, oh, yeah, man. He, say, he says Kila Salai, and she takes I, her mask I, I off. Super, I super ruined the um, Morden Solar Spit. Oh, you? Oh, you when I first played it, I did, yeah. I shot him. <laughs> yes, so I was like, you can't oh, did Rex come you? looking for you? No, Rex is dead. Oh, he was dead. He was on day one. He was gone from game one. I saw him. I did that the very first time. I was like, I have to stay. I'm going to save the thing. It's like, no, you can't. I know why you did because stand down. I know why you did because the the I can't remember his name. The Krogan who takes over from Rex is a prick. Yeah, his brother was an asshole. Yeah, I think it is his brother. He's an absolute bastard. Whereas Rex was a bit more pragmatic and whatnot. Rex is the only person. If any other Krogan, even if it was Grunt being in charge, it's like no. Rex is the only one you would trust to keep the Krogan in line. Because Grunt Grunt's still a bit naive. Even in Mass Effect Three, like I loved the thing where you think that he gets killed and he comes out. It's like yeah. It's like it's like. <laughs> yeah, well, it's the, Ragn the Ragnar Queen. Oh, yeah. He's voiced by a great voice actor called Steve Bloom. Steve yeah, Bloom, who voiced, really, he yeah. voiced Spike Spiegel in, yeah. Cow in uh, Cowboy Bebop. He's done, he's done and so you remember Peace Walker, uh, Zadornov? Uh, you know the guy with the red hen? He voiced, that was yeah. the same voice actor uh, for him. Okay, because then what's his face? Uh, Steve. He's also in Transformer Rescue Box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Steve yeah. Bloom, he's got that. Lieutenant <laughs> Wolf does the voice of Rex's voice. Yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. 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 Michael Dawn? Michael Dawn, yeah. One thing I know is about Mass Effect They're as basically well. Klingons, aren't they? Yeah, Let's yeah, face it. Because yeah. when, I, re when I replayed the Legendary Edition, I bought my um, my computer into the living room. And my my, my fiance, I should say, was... Um, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah. I did that bit out, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> Just in case she's watching. Yeah. <laughs> and... Um, we love you. We love you, Arena. <laughs> she really, really enjoyed it. Mm. But like, like, so what do you enjoy about it? So I, I don't really care for like watching you like the gameplay yeah, and the shooting and stuff. Really but she loved the she loved the story and she just loved the conversations, like like big time because they would get Can to the point. Kiss my ass. Yeah. <laughs> because you know you can like when you get the dialogue wheel you can do investigate and you learn more. Yeah. Beforehand I would tend to skip you know I. I of my first playthrough, I tend to skip that because you're already familiar with all the yeah. race of it. Yeah. She's like, no, 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 I want to hear about it. And she wants to hear about the Volus yeah. and the, and like the Codex uh, entries yeah. and yeah, stuff yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah. Yeah. And when you go into the Codex entries, like, the amount of detail, oh, like, they you just realize, and it's stuff that it's so all much. optional, you know, they don't try and force yeah, yeah. it, that, you know. And no, but she loved it. She absolutely, really, it was that in The Witcher 3, yeah. you know, those wow. two games where she was like, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, she's not, you know, she'll play Mario Kart and stuff yeah. like that, but she won't really play much else. Bastard.